Government of Uganda is committed to ensuring orderly and sustainable organized urban and rural development as part of its national agenda. This assurance, as emphasized by the Minister for Lands, Housing and Urban Development, Judith Nabakoba, comes at a time when the rains have of recent exposed the gaps in the planning of the capital city of Uganda. What I want to tell this house is that the plans that cities could be having, these plans expire. They make plans that can cover between 10 to 15 or 25 years, depending on how they sit to agree amongst a local government unit. The country has further extended more than secondary cities, 31 municipalities and 585 town councils. However, government has noticed an aggravated low level of compliance to plans, which has negatively impacted the growth of the economy. I know the house is agitated, but you know, it is not only forest mall which is suffering this mayhem. Number two, the owner of that place does not approve the plans. He didn't authorize himself to construct it there. There were people. Kampala capital city has for the last decades experienced mushrooming buildings both in the CBD and its outskirts with many having no plan, including for drainage and roads. Originally when we were, start, when we were starting to construct forest mall, that channel was approved all along. But uh, uh, when I consulted, they said that those, those, those are so many years back, you have again to resubmit a, a new plan. Parliament this week pursued to establish where the blame originates for the poor planning of both urban and rural areas, especially the cities. We know, we are aware, there are some people who do illegal things, but that is not our position as KCCA. We are going to demolish buildings which were built illegally, in places, in waterways. The basic plan we should start with is traceability of individuals that are going to use land, whether in urban or rural areas, like the Honorable Nyach Kongoro was alluding to, so that we can talk, we can talk about uh, exhaustively land use in a country, whether it's for rural purposes, whether it's for commercial, whether it is industrial. The Minister for Lands, Housing and Urban Development, Judith Nabakoba, presented a number of recommendations needed to implement the National Physical Development Plan. In the ministry, when we realized that there was a gap, because we have the law and we have some policies and regulations, but on identifying the gaps, we recommended that Cabinet should allow us to create an enforcement unit, enforcement and compliance. Because we would do laws, we do regulations, we do guidelines like the ones we have on fuel stations, but you realize that still the local governments that are supposed to oversee the implementation are doing things to the contrary. Parliament has asked government to consider prioritizing fiscal planning to avoid future calamities. Because in the cabinet when a budget is tabled, what do you discuss? Isn't fiscal planning a priority? Then we want, when we are coming here, you say, I tabled it, my colleagues in cabinet, they didn't look at it as a priority, but it's a priority. Daniel Mugoya, Gloria Gutabinji, UBC News.